ever wanted a 40 series GPU, specifically a 4080, in your laptop so you can game and get some serious work done wherever you are? Ever wanted a cool looking laptop that also stays cool under pressure? If your answer to those two questions is no, then you're a goddamn loser. Introducing the Acer Predator Helio 16 2024, and this is 2.65 kg of hella gaming. We played a whole range of games, Helldivers 2, Cyberpunk 2077, Horizon Forbidden West, which is really pretty on the screen, and Office Favorite Apex Legends, which is like two of us. Off the bat, this thing looks like it can take on anything and it's so stylish with its lit back and this cyberpunk-ish hinge that I couldn't even find a name for because Acer doesn't have one for it, but this laptop wouldn't look out of place in Night City. It's a definite update from the 2023 version, especially with its hot swappable keycap system, Mac Key 3.0, that uses a nifty little tool this thing to change out the look and feel of the wasad to either linear or tactile to fit your style which we'll get into later on because say what you want about these things but they are legit in the box you get the laptop the charger and of course a set of the coolest looking keycaps i've seen that come with a gaming laptop like this and they will definitely help your game better and not forgetting an additional set of magnetic vent covers for you to customize with your own preferred paint job Specs wise, its size will deceive a lot of you out there. This comes equipped with a 14th gen Intel Core i9 for its CPU and an NVIDIA RTX 4080 for its GPU with 12 gigs of dedicated GDDR6 VRAM, 16 gigs of DDDR5 RAM, 1 terabyte of storage, a 90 watt hour battery, and everything plays out on a 16 inch 240 Hz IPS display. Ports. This has quite a few that comes future proofed with two USB C Thunderbolt 4 ports, one USB A 3.2 Gen 1 port, two USB A 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one of them has power off charging, and lastly a HDMI 2.1 port. Weight wise, you're looking at about 2.65 kg for the laptop, and the charger is hefty at 1.2 kg, so you're carrying around almost 3 kg, which combined would be the weight of a single gaming laptop without the charger, which I think is a pretty good deal. Speaking of weight, the unit we got looks clean and bold in its abyssal black. You can swap out the vent covers if you'd like to shave off a bit of weight, but I would stick to the metal ones just to fit the aesthetic. But hey, you like what you like and do what you do. No judgement here. Now onto the keycaps, you got two options, linear and tactile for the wasants right here. And they're very easy to install with the help of this tool that comes in the box. Each cap has a little magnet on the other side. All you need to do is just get it snuck in the tool, lift and pull. I definitely prefer the tactile ones as with most people who play FPSs so we get a good sense of our inputs. The linears are textured and they feel great for people who need a little grip for their wasad fingers. The keycaps are unfortunately only meant for the wasad keys so I kind of wish that they do release a whole range in future for the keyboard because I get a kick out of the tactiles. These things do not play around. Now for gaming, the Helio 16 is buttery smooth and it definitely will be the same for doing some work like content creation, whatever you guys do out there. We ran a gaming benchmark with Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 plugged in and on the ultra settings scored an average of 69.28 FPS with a minimum of 58.88 and maximum of 87.13. We also ran 3D Mark Fire Strike and Time Spy and PC Mark 10. Here are the results. The score for Fire Strike is 22,065 with a graphics score of 36,063. It has a physics score of 23,142 and a combined score of 5,543. The score for Time Spy is 13,566 with a graphics score of 15,033 and a CPU score of 8,738. PC Mark 10 scored 8,223 with Essential scoring 10,680, Productivity at 10,532 and Digital Content Creation at 13,418. I played Horizon Forbidden West and ran into no issues at all at an average of 60 FPS on very high, especially with Cyberpunk 2077 being able to drive through Night City in all its glory without a hitch at an average of 80 FPS on Ray Tracing Ultra. That's, that's f***ing crazy. I have to say, playing Apex Legends with the tactile keycaps alongside its beastly performance makes every match feel like a dream, playing around with an average of 150 FPS and hell, even higher. And for Helldivers 2, when I say this machine is capable of aiding the rapid spread of democracy in the galaxy at an average FPS of a steady 60 on high, this Helio 16 is approved by a local democratic officer. 
Since you can play pretty much anything you throw at it alongside getting work done, using Premiere Pro to export 10 minutes of raw 4K footage took about 4 to 5 minutes and you can scrub through a 4K video with full resolution without any issues. Also, there's a dedicated Microsoft Copilot button on the bottom right of the keyboard to get quick access to an AI assistant to spruce up your life in whatever way you wish. The Helio 16 has got the looks, the feel, and the power to carry you through any battle in the virtual world or the office. Whether you're firefighting against some gongs, taking out legends, spreading democracy, or just editing a video, the Helio 16 is everything I would ever want out of a gaming laptop and would probably fit you too. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to get to them. Follow us on all of our socials right here to keep up to date with everything we do. We put out stuff daily and maybe leave a like and subscribe to us. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. So yeah, this has been Zin and I'll catch y'all in the next one.